So let's say you're working on your scorecard, you're creating it, and you would like to set up conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is an easy way to have each cell automatically turn red or green or any color depending on the contents that you enter in the cell. So let's just say that our goal for marketing is to bring in at least three leads a week. This could be three leads, this could be 300 leads, totally up to you. Let's just say three, week, three leads a week is our goal. So anything greater than two. So what I would do is highlight the cells that you want to address, go up to conditional formatting, and choose highlight cell rules. So if it's greater than two, so we've already said our goal is greater than two, so greater than two, I go down here to custom. You can choose one of these presets to make it easy. But I like to go to custom formatting and say if it's greater than two, let's make it bold. Let's make the color black. And then we'll go to our fill color. We'll say green and done. Okay. Without clicking off though, now let's choose how to make it red. So we go to conditional formatting, highlight cells less than. So let's say if our goal is three, so anything less than three, we want it to turn red. So custom formatting, we'll say pick our red color. Over to font, we're gonna to go to bold again. And now instead of black, I think white shows up a little bit better, but it's again, it's totally up to you. And so to test it, we can click in any of these and let's enter the number one. That's less than three. It should stay red. Yep. Let's list five. That's more than two. It should turn green. Yep. And that is working. So that's an easy way to do conditional formatting. And I'll tell you, if you would like to, this makes life a little bit easier. Before you get to the last month, so before you put anything in this last month, just highlight it. Make sure you get this icon and drag it and it will extend that conditional formatting. Now you need to do that before you put a number in the cell. If you pick the cell and then drag it, you're just going to repeat that number. So you don't want to do that. Click the empty cell that is formatted conditionally before you put a number in it. So hope that helps. And again, you can play with conditional formatting. There's all kinds of options. You can choose uh, if it's between ranges, if it's equal to. Uh, so whatever works for you, this is a great, easy, simple way to do conditional formatting.